Hi everybody, uh, good afternoon, welcome back to my channel. This is Alan here, uh, Fishing AT, and uh, today I'm fishing at a, a very uh, breezy and quite a big swell at Abbotsbury, so uh, on the Chesil Beach. I was in two miles weather to come today. The forecast was for the wind to die off and the swell to die off a bit, uh, but that's sort of happening later tonight rather than sort of uh, this morning. So I've come down anyway, I've, I've taken the plunge, and uh, it was a nice day, two rods are out, um, but there's quite a big uh, quite a big swell running here. Uh, but the wind is forecast to sort of go more northerly and uh, drop off, so uh, hopefully that swell will, uh, will die off a little bit. And obviously the water is very coloured, so fingers crossed that we might be able to uh, pick up a cod. Tactics are pretty much the same, um, just pulley panels. I'm fishing uh, squid on one rod and um, rag and squid on another rod. So just battling with the tide at the moment, oh, sorry with the waves hitting the line at the moment. So uh, first cast out, high water or low water sorry is uh, 10 past 3, it's now uh, quarter to 1 and uh, the plan is to fish, fish to low and obviously then fish the tide in into darkness and we'll see how we uh, We'll see how we go. Catch you later on. Well, it's been very tough fishing conditions, I'll explain in a, in a while, but uh, anyway, here's a, a small cod. He's only about a pound. I'm gonna unhook this one and, and put him back. He took a rag and squid pulley. Been fishing for a couple of hours and been struggling with the, the weights breaking out under the heavy swell. Just calmed down a little bit now. But anyway, not a blank. We'll uh, get him unhooked and we'll put him back in. I'm not sure if I've got something here. Oh, it's a big bit of weed. Line went very slack and I was a bit uh, concerned I was going to get under the stones. Ah. Got a double squid on here. So it's like a doggy. There we go, chisel doggy. Uh, been tough going. Been uh, broken out by the waves a lot. Had a big bird's nest, which I'll put a picture on the uh, the video. But anyway, I've had the cod and uh, and now that dogfish. So let's get him unhooked and put him back. Bite here on the right hand rod. Give me a lot of slack line again. Ah, I missed it. Nope. Nope, he's there. Sorry. Struck slack line. In that gutter again. Ah. Cod. Ah. Oh. 
slightly better one than the one I had uh, earlier on. He took rag and uh, squid pulley. That's a nice uh, fish. I'll just measure him and just see what size he is. Ooh. Well, it's quieting down a bit now. It's just uh, gone past low water. Uh, sun is uh, sun is setting. Uh, the swell is is still there, but it's it's calming down a bit. It was uh, terrible earlier on, breaking out the leads quite uh, quite frequently. Uh, but anyway, I've had a relatively productive afternoon. A couple of cod. Uh, I've kept one. That was about uh, two pounds, uh, 44 centimeters. The other one was quite small, only about a pound, so he went back. And I also had a doggy as well. Um, baits today, I got lugworm and ragworm and squid, and that's uh, provided by Real Fun Fishing in Porter's Head. And uh, as I said, fishing uh, pulley panels, um, 2 0 pulley panels and 3 0 pulley panels. And um, yeah, that seems to be doing the business. Although rigs are coming in quite tangled if they haven't got a fish on. Often they're coming in pretty, uh, pretty tangled. Whether that's just bringing it through the gutter there and the the big amount of turbulence, or whether it's just because I can't cast very far, it's pretty turbulent out there. You know, 50, 60 yards out. Anyway, it's a lovely, lovely evening here at Chesil as always. Lovely sunset. Uh, as I say, I'm going to probably fish for a few hours into darkness, not leave it too late. Um, we'll see how things uh, we see how things go. Not a lot of bites just the three bites for the three fish, I think. And um, no real small bites or anything like that, white in pout, nothing like that. So uh, we'll see, hopefully they're, uh, they're not around and it's just the bigger fish that are about. So just an idea of the sort of rigs and uh, baits I'm using. I've got a pulley, pulley panel here uh, with a seven ounce lead. And you can see probably baits. I've got about uh, three big king ragworm on there and uh, just tipped off the squid. So um, that's one rig. And then another rig is just a whole, a whole squid again on a pulley panel. And um, <clears throat> yeah, probably switch to worm maybe. I've got quite a bit of worm to use. So. Uh, <coughs> Probably switch to worm, not having uh, other than the dogfish, not having much luck on the uh, on the, the squid only uh, baits. Um, darkness is coming. Let's say that wind has moved round now. Uh, still got the swell. Uh, probably going to have to move now. The tide's coming in, so I'm probably going to have to move up to the top of the bank. Um, Still playing havoc with the rods on the uh, with the swell there, and the, the, the odd wave catches the uh, catches the line. So they look like bites, but they're not. Obviously, it's just where the waves are flicking the uh, the line, and you just got to be careful. If you do get slack line, you, uh, you 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 retrieve it quickly so that you don't get trapped under the pedals. I had a couple of instances earlier on when I when I had that. So uh, just got to pay attention to your rods. And at one point, I was just fishing one rod because. It was getting quite difficult to pay attention to two rods with the with the conditions as they were. It's half past four, so the tide's uh, been coming in for about an hour and a quarter, and um, probably going to fish till maybe uh, eight nine o'clock. I would have thought high water just after nine, so we'll see how that uh, how that swell maintains and whether or not that pushes me uh, up just to the top of the bank there. There's a very small doggy. Didn't even know he was there actually. Just uh, wanted him to change the bait and uh, 
uh, tiny, quite a small dogfish actually. Um, also had a poutine earlier on as well. Um, again, didn't even see that bite either. So uh, <laughs> with all the action on the rod tip, missing the bites sometimes and obviously still bringing them. I don't know if you can see that there. That's a first for me. There's a fox and chisel. <laughs> Really can smell there. Very good grass just walking across there, look. Nature watch for today. Fishing still uh, hasn't really kicked on at all in darkness. So uh, almost five o'clock now, and uh, even though this very very still, still the swell. Uh, huh, sorry, I'm just looking at that fox. He's just stopped. He's probably thinking, can he sneak in behind and get some fish off me? Um, yeah, still pretty quiet. But a lovely evening. Hopefully we won't have rain. There's possibly dark clouds here. You can see that. But, uh, fingers crossed, uh, we'll get a couple more fish. Well, that's really odd. Just filming there with that fox and obviously showing the rod tips no sign of a bite and somehow I've got a doggy foul looked in the tail I can't believe that didn't that didn't show I was just bringing this one in to refresh the bait that must be at least the third time now today I've had a fish on I haven't seen the bite and yet well you saw it as well the rod tips were there no signs of any bites huh. doggy in the tail oh well all okay. One thing about uh, dogfish, if you're new to fishing, they're not very good at swimming out to sea. There's that one I just caught earlier. And he's decided to beach himself. I don't like doing this, getting close in to the water. And this crust, he's, uh, he's okay. A bit of a mixed session so far today, so uh, here's the species number four. Just a, quite a small little white in. Been having a few pout in as well now, so uh, there we are, white in. Hopefully, the cod are going to be following in behind. Happy days! It's just an update on how things are going. Usual suspects are around dogfish, quite a lot of them, uh, whiting pouting, no more cod, but still uh, enough to keep uh, the lines, well the, the rod's interested and the, bite, the bite's happening, so a good session so far. Let's put this one back, let's hopefully get another cod. Thought I had a decent fish, Chesil uh, throws up another surprise, I don't know how I've done it, two doggies on the same pulley panel, they're wrapped up like Christmas presents on the trace. I've had it before at Bossington where you've had two doggies on the same same trace, but well, if it was a competition, that would be a good catch. I thought it was a good fish, but anyway. Good bite, bit of slack line. Ah uh, well, let's get these uh, dogfish unhooked and put back in. I don't know you can see that, but my latest dogfish regurgitated this thing. I'm not sure what it is. I don't really want to touch it. A bit squeamish about it, actually. It's some sort of, I don't know. Is it some sort of sea cucumber or, um, I don't know. I don't know. Really weird thing. That's 
I don't know how he managed to get two a double squid down his chops and have that in his throat as well. Really, really weird. There's my it's about the size of my about the size of my middle finger there. Anyway, answers on a postcard for that one. Turn my light off now. I thought I had a big pout last cast that I, I didn't show, but well, it is the biggest pout I've caught for a long time. Quite a clunker that one. So uh, yeah, just dog fishing pouting at the moment. I say I had one last cast which was pretty decent, but uh, yeah, this one is uh, certainly the biggest pouting I've caught for for quite some time. So that happy must be a good pound. People are going to say, "Well, that's not a big pout," but for me, that's a that's a decent uh, a decent pout in. Anyway, he's quite deeply hooked, unfortunately. I'm going to have to try and get him unhooked and put back. Well, it's uh, it's half past eight in the evening. I should have said it was Monday, the uh, 28th of November. Um, I've just got the last cast out really. Uh, oh, it's been a long day, quite tiring day on the shingle, up and down, up and down. When you fish up high. Uh, so I've got a long, got a couple of hour drive back, so I'm going to call it a day. Um, it actually turned out to be quite a quite a decent uh, session in the end. I had uh, obviously loads of dogfish, uh, a couple of cod, uh, which was obviously the target species today. One was too small at about a pound, and I had another one at, at two pounds. Um, some big pout in, a couple of big pout in. Um, unfortunately, the, the big one I showed to the camera didn't didn't survive. I, I put him back in, but he was washed up. So I'm going to take him home and, and see. Uh, never had pout in before, so I'm going to take a couple of fillips off that and uh, see what that tastes like tomorrow. Uh, a couple of white in, so good mix session. Typical sort of chesel session, really. So uh, yeah, so thanks for watching, um, and uh, thanks for uh, putting up with uh, me uh, rambling on at times. Anyway, it's uh, good to be out, good to be alive, and uh, until the next time, everybody take care. See you all again soon. Bye now.